So what if instead of hiring an entire development team, you could have five AI agents working at the same time to build you an entire app from scratch while you just sit back and do nothing? Well, I just found a tool that does exactly that. And we're gonna test it out today. I'm gonna to show you how it works and how powerful this tool really is. All right, so this is a tool right here. It's called MGX. And just so you know, they are the sponsor of today's video. So if you wanna follow along with me as I show you how to make an app with this, make sure to click the link in the description down below to get signed up for MGX. Now, once you're on here, you're gonna notice that this actually looks like a traditional AI chatbot. There's a spot right here where you can type anything you want in here, ask it any questions. You can choose between different models. Like right now we have Claude Sonnet 4, standard chat GPT-5 or Gemini 2.5 Pro. You can also do things like have it build slides for you, do deep research, build blog articles, or build out a link hub, which is something very similar to Linktree. But what makes this completely different than any other AI chatbot or builder I've ever tested, and I have tested a lot of them, is this button right here called team. What this does is when you have this enabled, it doesn't just work on any projects you send it individually, it actually has a team of AI agents working at the same time to build you the best product possible as quickly as possible. So let me show you how that works. So I'm going to ask it to create an app for us that will allow us to upload a photo and then turn that photo into a meme. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on team mode. That's what I talked about before. This will allow multiple AI agents to work on the same project at the same time. In addition to that, there's another really cool feature I'm really excited to try out called race mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this one on as well. And what race mode does is it allows multiple teams to work on the same project at the same time. So at the end, you have multiple results that you can choose from and you can choose the best one. So then after that, all you have to do is describe in plain English exactly what you're looking for. So I just typed in here that I'm looking to create an AI powered meme editor called Imagine Pro. I wanna be able to upload images, edit the images, and then turn them into popular memes with presets. And I also wanna put text overlays on the images as well. I want the interface to be clean and modern looking. And that's it, I'll then click on submit. So this is totally wild, check this out. So you notice we have four different windows here and that's because we have four different development teams working independently at the same time. And what's really cool is that within each of these different teams, we have multiple AI agents. So for instance, let's take a look at this one right here. You'll notice that after I submitted my prompt right here, one of the AI agents who is the team leader, his name is Mike, he went ahead and created all the different tasks for this project. And then he assigned those tasks to the other AI agents. So he literally communicated with the other one named Emma and said, hey, I want you to go ahead and create a comprehensive PDR, PRD I should say, for this app. And then after that's complete, you'll notice that he then wants to have Bob, who's the architect, design the system architecture, and then Alex, the engineer, will implement the application. That way, what's happening is that the best AI agent for the job is actually completing the right job. So let's give this a few minutes for all of these to be completed, and then we'll see the final results. All right, so at least one of the teams is now finished so we can actually try out the app. But before we do that, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because I'm constantly making new videos just like this one where I try really cool new AI tools. So if you don't wanna miss out on that, make sure to subscribe. All right, so coming in here, I can see that this one is now finished. So I'll go ahead and expand it so it's full screen. And let's go ahead and zoom in so we can see it a little bit better. Now check out what was made for us. So this is Imagine Pro, that is the name that I gave it, but pretty much everything else here, they made from scratch. They created a really nice title right here, some really nice subtext that says, the AI powered meme editor that makes creating viral content effortless. Upload, edit, and share your creations with the world. And what I love about this is that this is very clean, it is very professional, and I didn't need to tell the team what to make. They were just smart enough to figure it out. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. I'll click on start creating. And let's go ahead and upload an image of myself. I'll upload this from my desktop. 
So there's my photo right there. I can go ahead and adjust the brightness if I want. I can adjust the contrast. Let's do like that. Let's adjust the saturation a little bit, like maybe just like that. And we also have things like filters. So I could do like grayscale, sepia, vintage, blur, invert. This is so cool. I mean, even if this was just an image editor, this works. Like this is so wild that they were just able to build this for us in a matter of minutes. But let's try out the presets right here. Let's see what this one is. But it looks like for some reason this feature isn't working, but that is okay because that is part of the process. We can tell the chatbot to make any changes or to fix anything. So I'm going to do exactly that. I'm going to open up the chat box and I'm going to tell it that there is an error. So I'm basically telling it here that after I upload the image, when I click on any of the presets, they don't work. And I tell it exactly what I want it to do when I do click on those presets, which is to make it look like a meme. So let's go ahead and see if it can fix those. All right, so we see the team working here. The project manager, right, Mike, or team leader Mike says that he understands the problem and he has assigned Alex to fix it so that when we click on presets, they will actually do something. So Alex is now going ahead and working on that to actually make the changes. And you can see all that coding happening here on the right. So let's give Alex a few minutes and then we'll come back and see if it's fixed. All right, so we have an update. We see that it is now complete. Mike says, perfect, Alex has successfully fixed the meme presets functionality. Well, let's go ahead and give it a shot. I'll close the chat box and I'll click on start creating. Let's go ahead and upload the same image. I'm going to quickly check to make sure that nothing was broken in the process, but it doesn't look like it. All the filters and stuff work great. Let's try the preset. Oh, there we go, guys. It works. How super cool is that? So now you can change this to any text that you want. I can say something like, I love memes and they love me, <laughs> super funny. I can then go ahead and export that as well. Oh gosh, guys, I'm super happy with this. Very, very impressed, honestly. Not only was it able to make this for us, but when a mistake was made, it was able to fix that as well. I know nothing about coding. I've never designed anything in my entire life. I've never coded anything in my entire life but I was able to build this just with an idea. And even when something was broken, all I had to do was sort of explain in plain English and it was able to fix it for me. That is just wild. Now Imagine Pro is ready. It's ready for launch. Now, I don't want an app that just sits in a void on my computer. I wanna actually be able to share this with the world. And luckily with this tool, I can do that and it's really not that hard. So let's say I wanna share this with people. I can click on the top right here where it says publish. I can then click publish again. And now I have a link that I can share with anyone. If you go ahead and open up this link, you can access Imagine Pro or any app that you make with MGX. So after that one, I'm feeling a little bit confident and I wanna see what else this tool can do and I really wanna push it to its limits. So. Let's get inspired. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna click up here where it says launched. And this is going to show you other things that people have built with this tool. So you can kind of get some inspiration and see exactly what this can do. So it looks like we have a game here. Let's go ahead and take a look at this game. It tells you how to play it. Let's go ahead and click on start adventure. I'm moving this guy right here. I'm moving him around. This is like some sort of RPG game where you can interact with things like this forest fairy. You can pick up items. You can make an entire game in here. That's really, really cool. What else do we have? We have something like Tetris. Let's go ahead and try that one out. Let's go ahead and click on start. And sure enough, I'm moving that block around so you can make Tetris in here as well. What else we got here? So we have some sort of study guide in here, something you can use to study if you're a student or a teacher or admin, really cool. Yeah, lots of cool stuff. Another cool thing you could do is come over here and click on the top where it says use case. And this shows you a ton of different things that you could potentially make with the tool. I'm gonna go ahead and create a landing page. I'm gonna click right here where it says AI page generator. And you'll notice it shows all these different landing pages that were made with MGX. So let me go ahead and tell it exactly what I want. 
So I told it that I want to make a landing page for my new community called AI Titans. The community is dedicated to helping people learn about AI tools, help them build an online business, fill in all the sales copy, fill in all the different pricing structures for the community access as well. So I'm really giving it very little to work with. I'm, I'm, I'm going to make sure that team is turned on and I'm also going to turn on race mode and we'll go ahead and submit and see what it's able to make for us. All right, so all four teams are now finished. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up this one right here. Go ahead and expand that. I will close the chat box for now. And this is my new landing page, Master AI Tools to Build Your Empire. Join AI Titans and discover the exact AI tools, strategies, and frameworks that successful entrepreneurs use to build six-figure online business in record time. That is amazing. That is really, really cool. What else do we have here? How many active members? Obviously, I'm not going to lie. I would change that. Uh, revenue generated, all that sort of stuff. A lot of social proof right here. Like This is really smart. This is some really critical thinking on its part to know what goes into building a highly profitable website that's actually going to convert. Really cool stuff. All the different sections right here about what you're going to learn when you join the community and the different pricing structures. I was super excited to see this because it just understands the basic psychology of online selling. You want three price points and you wanna market the middle price point as the most popular and it nailed that. That is really, really cool. We have some customer reviews at, down here as well and you can just go ahead and sign up. We also have a place right here for people to put in their email address to get on my email list. That is super impressive. Let's take a look at one of the other ones. So let's look at this one right here. This is a very similar look, I would say. Uh, very, very similar. Actually, the same pricing, I think, as well. But I think I like the first one a bit more. Uh, it's a bit more filled out. And this is one of the reasons I really love that race mode. Because how many times have you asked an AI chatbot or an AI agent to build you something? And you got something like this, and you're like, ah, it looks okay, but it's not quite what you're looking for. But here we have four different choices and I love this one right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click right here where it says I'm loving this one and then I'll click on confirm. Once I click on confirm, that will erase the other ones and then this will be the one that I can then work on with the team that developed it. I can tell them to make any changes that I want to get it exactly the way that I want. Look, I've probably tested hundreds of AI tools at this point, and this is honestly one of the most impressive things I have seen so far. The fact that you can describe an app in plain English and have multiple teams of AI agents building you professional versions of this that actually work, that's really cool. And think about what this means for your online business. You could build custom tools for your customers, create unique web apps, launch software products, all without knowing how to code yourself. The barrier to entry for creating online tools just evaporated. So if you wanna try out MGX, the link's in the description down below. They have a free tier, so you can test it out and see what you can build with it. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.